I'm just going to do some moving around, make space for plants that are coming towards the end of a life so I can put some uh, more autumn and winter type plants in, mainly veg to be honest, if you see there I've, I've got a couple of savoy cabbages in, well I want to put some more in, I've got some more in a, a, a seed tray module thing, um, and this nasturtium is top on my list really for, for pulling out, because it's a, it's a bit of a bully, it's crowding out some bronze fennel, and I can just make that out that I had in and I, I like bronze fan and I like to see it more especially now as it's starting to form its little flower heads um, insects like it too so if I get rid of this nasturtium what I'll probably do with it is just throw it in for the chickens and let them pick through it get the odd caterpillar off it they can nibble on the leaves as well and like I say it'll give me lots of space to put some more savoy cabbages in so let's see if I can find the bottom of the plant just pull on this one here, let's have a let's have a look. Try and get the root up as well. Yeah. Alright, so if I pull this and see how we do. I'll probably have to get rid of this in the instalments to be honest with you. It's it's enormous. Yeah, so I'll get rid of this for now. And we'll come back and I'll get rid of the rest of it in a bit. Let's throw this in for chicks. Yeah, ladies, have a pick through that. Let's just see what she goes for. Oh, straight for the flower. We can eat nasturtium flowers as well. They go well in salads. They, um, they add a bit of colour. And also, they're quite hot and peppery. So if you like a bit of spice in your salad leaves, you can eat the nasturtiums. Or on this occasion, I'm letting my chickens eat them. Please subscribe for more free gardening related videos.